Let's play a little bit with the 3D environment then. With a simple example that has, it's a character, a Corat character. I will select the floor. I will create a peg to the floor, a transformation. I will ask the system that I want to have the transformation in a 3D environment. Is that now that we have that, we can actually rotate that. And we can, the system automatically does the proper a intersection of the different planes like this. Okay, now we can say that goes down. We can do a floor. Let's say that we connect the floor. There we go. We have the wall. And something that we're going to do here is we're going to select, let's put the, the floor there, that's fine. Okay. Now, one of the things on the system is that we're going to have a trajectory path for the character. Let's see it play back there. It's moving. Like we did it with the kid that was going from the elephant, we have a trajectory path, it's moving from left to right. Let's now use the 3D space, and in the same way that we were using it in the storyboard, that we bring the 3D element, let's bring a 3D element into the system. And in this case, this 3D element was animated in place inside the 3D software. Now that we have it there, what I wanted to do is I wanted to have the same element in a trajectory path, same as I did with the character. Now I have my car moving around my element, means that everything I'm integrating it into the same environment. It's really easy to work, it's inside Harmony directly. You don't need to do nothing else, just ma manipulating the different pieces. Now, if we have that, let's go to the first, to the camera view, and now I will ask the system in the camera view to show me the camera, and I will ask the system to have a rotation. I will go to the first frame, the camera is now in an angle, I will go to the last frame, and now the camera is in another angle. And now we ask the system to do the full playback. Now the system, the camera is moving in full 3D space, like with the storyboard. And we have the animation, and everything gets together. Now, using those concepts, let's open a new scene here, rotate the leg, I do all the animation directly here. And basically, this, with this character can be a cutout character, can be a paper character that you bring into the system, can be paperless, everything directly here. No, the system supports all of them. Is that we have the character, we have the movement, And as you can see here, all this movement of the character and the camera shake, everything is done inside Harmony. <coughs> the umbrella rotating is really, really powerful. Now, having said that, let's go to our last example here with the 3D. It's really, really easy to work just bringing the, the character, this character is, is playing from left to right. <coughs> and then what we're going to do is we're going to bring the shopping mall and enable the shopping mall here. And as you can see here, it's a full environment. It means that actually it's really powerful. You can use it for props where the character interact, or you can use it for the whole set, and everything gets interacting together. And we can have, as well, another element like a car here. I can just select that car and say I wanted to rotate the car. Like this. Let me just select this one. Rotate the car, parking it correctly on the same place, in the right place. Let's go to the camera view. Let's play back the scene. And again, we have the situation with the flat panel on this one. And what I will do 
is I will go to the last frame and I will correct that with the same type of tool. And now we are ready. It means that the concept now with, with the tools is that we enable you to combine multiple sources, multiple type of animation directly into the same environment to help you to do all of those productions and give you more tools that enable you to, to uh, for you to explore other creative styles for your characters and your, and your animations.